Hey, Voter Man here. And boy, this week, can I speak frankly? I got to. You got to get this through your thick skull. A motorcycle turns by leaning. If you're afraid to lean your motorcycle at higher speeds, you're going to be running off the road. At lower speeds, you're going to be a duck walking doofus if you don't lean the motorcycle. Now take a look at this bike. Get a good shot of this camera girl. Uh, stand back a little bit because I want them to see how much the bike is leaning. It's sitting on the kickstand. It's not leaning very much, but if you could just lean it this much, it would be so much easier for you. But I know that you have a high fear level. So many people do. And I've done videos about this before, but I'm going to tell you right now, you must not be watching them or not getting out there and practice what I'm telling you because I still see people come to my class scared to death of leaning their motorcycle. So I've got a tool for you that is going to correct that. Now watch this. And here it is. Most of you probably have a bicycle in your garage. Put some air in the tires because I'm sure they're flat because you never ride it. It's too much effort. Uh, maybe get the cobwebs off of it. But this, this bicycle will do the exact same thing that a motorcycle will do. In order for it to turn, it must lean. And the further you lean it, the tighter the turn you're going to make. But you don't have to lean all that far. On a bicycle, you want to make sure that if you're pedaling, that you don't get that pedal on the ground. Or because if you do, it's going to lever a tire off. But right here, at this point here, this is a pretty good lean for a bicycle. And the motorcycle will lean further. Even a big touring bike like this will lean to at least 32 degrees. So if you use this bicycle, it'll get, help you get over your fear of leaning your bike really at any speed. Now I've taken some really bad riders and I'm going to show you some clips from a video. One of the worst of the worst as far as high fear level. This rider was so bad it was, it was, I was amazed that she actually got to the class without getting killed. So in order to turn this rider around, I got her on a bicycle and that's really what did it. And I'm going to show you that in this clip as well. So get out the bicycle, start practicing big circles, figure eights, turning your head and eyes. And when you get on the motorcycle, practice the slow race because that's going to show you, that's with the bike straight up at two or three miles per hour, that's going to show you how to use the clutch and throttle because if you've got to keep putting the foot down, you're not good at the clutch and throttle and that's very important. Clutch and throttle, that's the friction zone combined with your head and eyes. And of course, you're going to use head and eyes on the bicycle as well. It's going to train you for that just, just like it will train you for leaning the motorcycle. So let me show you a couple of videos of what I've done with some people and how to use this to make you a much better motorcycle rider. Let's go. All right, this is Linda. And this is, a, I don't know, about a year, year and a half ago. She's on an Indian Scout, has an extremely high fear level, doesn't want to lean the bike at all. As soon as the bike starts to lean even a little bit, she has to duck walk the motorcycle. And you can't be doing that out on the street. What she did have, though, was determination. She really wanted to learn. And I knew I could help her out. It took uh, two lessons, private lessons, and one of which was on a bicycle. The bicycle works the same way as the motorcycle. Get over your fear on the bicycle, and this is the result. Now, this is Linda on the same motorcycle. She'd done some practicing on her own in addition to the one-on-one -on -one lessons and the bicycle lessons, and this is the result. She's leaning the bike as she should, and it's so much easier to control the bike when you're above five miles per hour. Now, here's a clip. I took this rider out. This is Marianne and Tim Hamilton. They're a married couple. You've probably seen them in my shows and on my videos before, but I wanted to use this as a demonstration. Now that bicycle, as you can see, is leaning when it turns. You must, you must allow it to lean when you make these turns. And if you're afraid of leaning on a bicycle, well, I don't know if I could help you, but most people aren't afraid to lean on the bicycle because even if the bicycle starts to fall over, you could generally keep it from falling over just by stopping and putting a foot down. Now notice the motorcycle behind her. It's doing the exact same motions as the bicycle is. The principles are exactly the same. So get out there, turn some big figure eights, uh, big circles, little by little tighten up those circles to where you're leaning your bicycle almost to the maximum. Literally an hour, hour and a half of this type of practice could get you over the fear of leaning your motorcycle. And remember with the bike, with the motorcycle, you got to get above five miles per hour. Anything below five miles an hour is very difficult to control the bike unless you're an expert at clutch and throttle. And most people aren't an expert at manipulating the clutch and throttle. Now here's a rider at my class on a 650 BMW. 
very easy motorcycle to handle but notice as she goes through this gate she is trying to keep the motorcycle upright she's trying to turn with the bike upright so she's fighting the very design of the motorcycle don't do that folks allow that bike to do what it was designed to do and that is to allow it to lean when you try to turn with the bike straight up your turns are going to be gigantic. This bike has a turning radius of about 12 feet and she's needing about 60 feet to turn it. This rider needs to make a simple right hand turn, which is very wide, almost on the wrong side of the road, and then again attempts to turn the motorcycle, make that U-turn with the bike straight up. Watch it, she'll do it again. Turn was way too wide, she'd be on the wrong side of the road on the street. She can't make the turn because she doesn't lean the motorcycle. Now here's a big giant figure eight, probably 35 foot circles in this figure eight. And I'm showing you from my point of view with the camera on my helmet, as well as from the side. So you can see I'm making giant figure eights. And that's what you need to do once you get the hang of it on the bicycle. Once you're able to make, uh, say a 15 foot circle or figure eight on a bicycle, get on the motorcycle, start big, a little bit at a time. Get over that fear of leaning the bike a little bit at a time. And remember, you got to stay above five miles per hour. Anything below five, the chances of you dropping the bike go way up because the gravity wants to pull you to the ground. There's not enough force pulling you forward. So get on that bicycle, folks. Get out there and practice just for an hour, maybe an hour and a half at most. And you should get over that fear of leaning the bike, at least leaning it just a bit. And that's all you need to do is lean it maybe 15 or 20 degrees on your motorcycle. And you have most of these turns that you have to make at low speeds in a parking lot, at a bike meet, whatever. You'll be able to do it if you could just lean your bike at about a 15 or 20 degree lean angle, about what it leans when it's sitting on the kickstand.